Good morning. My name is uh, Ashu Vichalikar. I'm a professor of medicine and hematology at University College London. It has been a great pleasure to be here at the 10th GCOS meeting in Cape Town, an amazing venue and an amazing conference so far. I'm talking today about multiple myeloma and light chain amyloidosis and its cardiac implications. Myeloma is a plasma cell dyscrasia. It's an increasingly recognized malignancy. We have a whole host of new treatment options which have changed the landscape of myeloma over the last 10 years. The median survival of these patients has now increased from four to five years about 10 years ago to easily over 10 or 15 years in the current status. Similarly, patients with plasma cell dyscrasias can get protein deposition and a condition called light chain amyloidosis. This is a relatively rare problem, but can present with significant cardiovascular disability with 70% patients having heart involvement. These patients often have significant morbidity and mortality from their cardiac amyloidosis. We have had a number of advances in therapy, including biologic treatments, bispecific antibodies, CAR T-cell therapies, antibody drug conjugates used either singly or in combination. We had a landmark study recently showing that patients with multiply relapsed myeloma, whose average survival would have been four or five months, when treated with Siltacel, which is a BCMA-directed CAR T-cell therapy, had a median survival which was not reached and a progression-free survival of over 30% at five years, which is unheard of in this disease setting. We are on the path to potentially curing some of these low-risk patients with multiple myeloma. However, a number of drugs we use have cardiovascular toxicity and complications, particularly in an elderly population who has significant comorbidities, often two or three other comorbidities associated with their primary diagnosis. It is critically important that these patients are assessed from a cardiovascular perspective, in addition to their multiple myeloma, to ensure their smooth treatment Long-term treatment is associated with complications such as venous thrombosis with immunomodulatory agent, cardiac risk factors with preteosome inhibitors, and cytokine release syndrome-related disease problems in patients treated with CAR T-cell therapy and by specific antibodies. Patients with AL amyloidosis, because they already have cardiac involvement at the time they are diagnosed, need especially greater care when using any and all of these agents which can compound their pre-existing heart failure. Managing these patients in a multidisciplinary setting with the hematologists, the cardiologists or the cardio-oncologists, as well as nephrologists, and if necessary, hepatologists and neurologists is crucial to management of these patients. These are elderly patients and involving physiotherapists and even oncogeriatricians is really crucial to ensuring that we provide a holistic care to patients with these conditions. But the news is good. We are on the way to getting deep and long responses. We are on the way to maybe curing a small proportion of these patients and hopefully providing them with a long, fulfilling life. But we need to remember survivorship, managing toxicities, and ensuring that these patients get a good quality of life in addition to achieving clonal responses. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onca Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.